What's good guys, welcome back to a very special episode of g, &G News. We've got a Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Pokemon booster pack to open up for today. So hopefully we get something decent. If you like Pokemon, go to www.pokemon.com to check out all the latest and greatest products. And also, I hope you've been enjoying all the recent Pokemon gameplay videos that I've been putting up over on the Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here. There are 185 cards in the Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Pokemon expansion to collect. Discover new and brilliant maximum power in the Pokemon TCG Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage expansion. As more Pokemon V including the newly discovered mythical Pokemon Zarud. Unique new amazing Pokemon burst onto the scene with a rainbow splash alongside Pokemon V Max including the Splendor, the Majesty, the, the Majesty and the delightful round wonder known as Gigantamax Pikachu, plus a little extra colour and a lot more spark into your deck or collection with the Sword and Shield Vivid Voltage Expansion. So, let's get into this. Hopefully we can pull something decent. Also, shout out to everyone who's been viewing all my shorts recently. We've been, uh, you know, doing some really good numbers on the shorts, so shout out to all you guys who keep viewing all them shorts. And without further ado, let's get into this. Green code card. Also, the new Pokemon Fusion Strike booster packs. You can't actually tell uh, too well what you get. So I think it's cool that they've done that. So Mudbra is the first card, having 80 health points, being a fighting type Pokemon, having two moves, one of Ram, the other of Rear Kick, followed up by Slugma, having 70 health points, being a fire type Pokemon, having one move of Yawn and the other of Flare, having 70 health points, Wishma with 60 health points, being a normal type Pokemon, having one move of Continuous Tumble, followed up by a Grass type Energy. I'm joking. <laughs> a grass type Pokemon being Execute, having 60 health points, having a move of Seed Bomb, followed up by Woobat, having 60 health points, having a move of an amplified sound wave, being a psychic type. Oshawa up next, having 70 health points, being a water type Pokemon with a move of Water Gun and Seashell Attack. Shift Tree up next, being a grass type Pokemon with 150 health points, having an ability of sift, uh, Shifty Substitution. As long as this Pokemon is in its active spot, each supporter card in your opponent's hand has the effect draw three cards. This happens instead of the card's usual effect, and it has a move of Fan Tornado, 150 health points, being a grass type Pokemon. Electric type energy followed up by Shuckle, 70 health points, being a fighting type Pokemon, having a move of Deck Distiller and Rock Throw, followed up by Nuzleaf, having 80 health points, being a grass type Pokemon, having one move of Razor Leaf. And last but not least for today, we have Memory Capsule Trainer Item. Pokemon Tool, attach a Pokemon Tool to one of your Pokemon that doesn't already have a Pokemon Tool attached. The Pokemon this card is attached to can use any attack from its previous evolutions. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. You may play any number of item cards during your turn, 155 out of 185. So, not too bad, and we ended up today with Oshawa. Thank you for watching another episode of GNG News. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications if you haven't done already. Leave a like on this video if you think it's worth leaving a like on. And very soon I will be doing a Pokemon video where you will see me use the digital code card from this pack. So you guys will see if I've pulled something decent digitally. The funny thing is, sometimes when you get green code cards, which generally is not the best pull, you then use them in the Pokemon TCGO, which is the trading card game online, and you can pull something really decent. So it all depends, to be completely honest with you. As they say, you have to be in it in order to win it. And uh, trust me, I've put a lot of money into Pokemon. So whenever I get anything back from the Pokemon company, it always feels deserved. But anyways, I will see you in another video. Thank you all for watching. Have yourself a lovely day and don't forget to subscribe.